Peace, peace, peace. I'm Rami Salam El, and I thank you for joining us. This video is especially for David Banner, but it applies to any of our revolutionary brothers and sisters that are working to uh, liberate and free our people, uh, but they may be a bit misguided, whether knowingly or unknowingly. Um, first and foremost, let me say that uh, I appreciate you, brother. I love you. I respect and honor all the work you have done, you are doing, and you will do. And that applies to any of the other revolutionary brothers and sisters that is doing work to truly help free our people. This is not to uh, attack you or to divide and tear down our people. It's really to pull your coattail to help correct you on this path uh, for our freedom. And I expect the same to be done to me. Um, and we should all not be above critique or correction as we're all working um, works in progress, working to perfect ourselves. Uh, I just want to make sure that I, I get that out first and foremost, because this is really about love. And it's really about honestly um, and truly helping to uplift our people and humanity as a whole. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a clip of David Banner, then I'm going to do some commentary on it, a couple more clips of David Banner, more commentary, um, and then we'll wrap it up with a, uh, a beautiful clip. Let's get to it. Um, David Banner is uh, actually the Incredible Hulk, mm -hmm. the guy that turned into the Incredible Hulk. Mm -hmm. um, I have a slight anger problem. Okay. Uh, I have a clinical anger problem. And uh, I just, there's a lot of parallels between me okay. and David Banner. That's why I'm thinking about just changing my name to Banner, because we're so similar. Like, a lot of people don't know I'm a semester in the thesis away from my master's degree. I had 3.9987 at the University of Maryland. Mm -hmm. Like, people don't know that. And I travel all around the world mm -hmm. on these mm -hmm. tour buses, and mm -hmm. people just think I'm this dumb gangster rapper. Yeah, I and I never put that out there mm -hmm. like that. I am mm -hmm. from Mississippi. I have done those things that people, some of those things that people talk about. But I'm also a you know, student government president of the largest historically black college in the United States. I'm, you know, I also debated against Congress for our First Amendment rights. And some people say I won. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I think... That it, clip was so that we could be clear as to why you don't get the benefit of the doubt. You demonstrated your genius. You're aware of it. You demonstrated and applied your intelligence. You know about history. You know about law. You was at the Congress defending and standing up for our culture, hip hop. And that's an amazing thing, brother. Thank you. I remember when I saw that a few years back. And I was like, David Bann is one of the real ones. He's really representing our culture. On the same note, you can't say that you don't know. You can't say that you are not aware. You can't claim ignorance. The ignorance of the law is no excuse, brother. You feel me? Let's get a little deeper. What's the solution to some of these issues that we discuss, you know, for the time you've been here? What's the solution? Um, my we can talk about the problems yeah. forever. My solution is for us to start doing us. I think the first thing is we're going to have to start. First of all, we're going to have to find knowledge itself. Mm hmm and when I say knowledge itself, I mean, we have to find out our history. Mm. I mean, from Africa, I mean, from the Moors, I mean. Uh oh, uh, wait, hold on one second. Uh, I got Debbie on the line from Maryland. Hold on one second, Michelle. Hey, D. Hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, shit, okay. Uh, Debbie in Maryland, good morning. Hi, good morning, good morning. Good morning, David Banner. My name Hello. is Debbie. I'm calling from Maryland. Okay. I'm calling in regards to uh, what you guys are talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm Latino. Mm -hmm. My husband is African American. We mm -hmm. have four kids. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the um, projects that my 10 year old son was given was to be a colonist. And um, it was wow. crazy because he had to dress up like, mm. you know, he wow. was a plantation owner. Um, he did his project, and my husband was like, wait, this is wrong. This is totally wrong. Why, why is our son 
have to dress up like that? Why can he be a slave or a free slave or, or, or anything but that? So he ended up not doing his project because of that. I, we refused and we told the principal, no, he's not going to dress like a uh, plantation owner and he's going to do something else. Do, do you love do you know that Egyptians had running running water running pathways they built you know a, a, a lot of the things that we have right now see part of the problem love is we don't know a lot of us don't even know who our great grandmother is mm -hmm. much less uh, whether we are Moors whether we are Egyptian whatever that may end up being whether we're from Ghana we don't know any of our history so the thing is and I tell people this all the time and I just said it earlier, we existed 92,000 years before anybody else graced this earth. So, I mean, saying that we we didn't we didn't accomplish anything. No pyramids or not nothing. We can't dress up like anything. We don't know ourselves. Yeah, that's that's part of the problem. If our children even knew that people of color created math and science, mm -hmm. math and science wouldn't be hard. to. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. but that's what I'm saying. And, 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 and a lot of people may get mad when I say this. It is not up to our oppressor to teach us. Yeah. That's our fault that we don't know. It's out there. We just have to find it. Thank you for... Now, you see, brother, this is where I, I take issue with you. We need to correct this. You are aware of mores. So why do you continually make it seem as though it's a question, like whether we're Moors or we're Egyptian, or whether it's not up for debate? It's not a question involved. We are Moors. This is this is who we are factually, historically. It's proven. Evidence that supports it all over the world. Saint Maurice, Saint Benedict, Esteban the Moor. Quick plug. Mm. Seventy-seven amazing facts about the Moors. I'll read just the intro quote for you. Ethiopian and Moor were pop popularly used to describe so-called blacks until 1500. J. A. Rogers. Come on, brother. We got to get right. Um, and furthermore, we don't have to find who we are. It's right there. It's always been there. What we need to do, what I'm asking you to do, Talib, you too, the Mortal Technique, J Electronica, Kanye, Jay Z, anybody that's, that's really for our people, Erica Badu, Nicki Minaj, Rhapsody, come on now. We got to embrace who we are. We, we need you, you, right now, to stand up and say, yes, we're Moors. Because you know our people like I know our people. They're not going to get with it till it's trendy, till it's the end thing to do. Till being a Moor is that's lit. Ooh, being a Moor is lit. Then, then that's when people going to be like, yeah. But as long as... The leaders, the influential people, our favorite rappers, Mr. David Banner. As long as you guys are silent, people are going to be afraid. It's on y'all to step up. We need y'all right now. You think if Tupac was here, he would be timid about it? Or you think he would be letting the world know? Africa Bambata, peace to the Zulu nation. He's letting everybody know. And he's one of the founders. Peace to KRS One. He's letting people know. So, what's up? The time is now. Yasin Bey, the ecstatic. He let people know. So, why not you? What are you afraid of? You don't want to honor our culture, our people, who we are? Man, I, I, I only said it to one other person recently, dude. Well, I had one other um, um, publication. 
Let me show you what America did that was so pivotal. <clears throat> what music has taken the biggest, has that suffered the most recently? Gotta be hip hop. All right. Hip hop really not, as a whole, is not making money, right? But what does every child want to be? They want to be something in the hip hop culture, right? <laughs> Some something in while, the hip hop culture. While all their kids are going to uh, Silicon Valley, doing something in technology or in medicine, so they got us running, and they have gutted out, and we have allowed them to gut out our music and the worth in our music, while all our children is trying to be something that don't have no money in. I said that in one of my new songs. People say I'm selfish because I don't I don't have a label or I don't put people out. But why would I put a label out and it's not selling? That's a hustler because everybody claim that they hustlers. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't sell meth if wasn't nobody in your hood <laughs> smoking right, meth. Yeah, yeah. Like don't don't I'm not stupid. Not don't gonna, treat me like I'm stupid, homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like don't do me like that. Don't act like I don't come from where you come from just because I'm cleaning myself up. I mean, I ain't, like, that's what pissed me off. You want to see me fight again? Don't play me like I'm stupid, homie. Like, just be honest with me. Don't, 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 excuse me. Don't fucking play with me. Like, I don't, I don't do that. So, you know, I asked somebody that. I'm like, well, dude, when the last time you bought a record? You know, same thing with Walking With Guys. That's why I put the credits. Because I want people to see. I paid all of these people. I respect that. That same fire, that same energy that you got about just being honest, nobody playing you, I feel the same way, especially when our brothers like you know who we are and continue to play the black and white game. Don't play us like we stupid. Be honest. Be real with us, brother. We are not black and they are not white. They are Europeans. They have nationalities. We are Moors. We have a nationality. Don't try to make us seem like we different just because we got our crown back or we got our names back. We the same people. I grew up in Oakland. I seen the same shit that everybody else sees. Seen the drugs, the prostitution, the poverty, homelessness. The police, the so-called police murdering us. I went through it too. And shit is getting worse. Daily. The brother in, in Baltimore broke his spine and, and murdered him. You know, come on, brother, be honest. We not black. We're Moors. And we don't get spiritual. Let's let's roll the clip. Yeah, you have a project that's that's uh, hit YouTube, hit the streets a few weeks ago. It's entitled "Walking with Gods." Right. Uh, you play a, a superhero mm -hmm. type of character by the name of Alex and whatnot. So I don't want to give away too you much. You can. It make me feel good when you talk about it because then I I ain't hyping it up. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a dope concept. I honestly <laughs> say I watched two episodes so far. You know, and it, it really is a, a dope concept. But first. I was uh, looking at some of the artwork and I'm like, all right, is this Shaft? Is it Lionel from the Thundercats? You know, yeah. I've seen a, a bunch of different things. Why don't you tell our viewers, you know, just a, a, a little bit what inspired you to come up with the title right. and the concept for the show? All right, so, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you're going to edit that in or not, but we'll, like we were talking about earlier, like, uh, if, regardless of what religion you are, if you believe that you have a connection with God, like Christians say that they're a the child of Jesus. Mm -hmm. They say, Jesus is my father. Then if he's your father, then you are his son and daughter. And like I said, my name is Lavelle Crump. My father was a Crump. So if I'm my father's son, then I'm a Crump. If I'm the son of Jesus or I'm the son of God or whatever, Allah, whatever you may want to say, then you're God. Even from a scientific standpoint, if God is infinitely everything, God is all matter, right? Mm -hmm. All matter in the universe, you are matter. So that's just like, if my blood is living, my blood is a part of me. So if we are part of all matter and if we exist as all matter, then we actually are God, not the children of God. I don't know, I may went too deep, but that's what walking with God is, walking with God is all about. It's like Alex the superhero, 
he's the descendant of God. But he was he was brainwashed, so he doesn't know that he is. So his kryptonite is the fact that he doesn't believe that he's a god. So that's why he isn't all powerful. And imagine as human beings, we only use eight to fifteen percent of our brain capacity. We may be able to blink and bro blow somebody head up. But why would God want to give us that power? Somebody step on our shoes right now. You're ready to fight. So that's what walking with God is about. Not necessarily, you know, what a lot of people think it's about, but it's about people knowing their truth. We don't even have to go that deep. It's about us knowing our true potential. And imagine if young black men start really knowing that they were sons or they were sons of God. The black women start knowing that they were sons of God. That means that their responsibility would change. Because you're going to start seeing Alex change. He's going to change the way that he eats. He's going to change the way that he talks. Because now he's He's realizing he has a responsibility. You know, if a woman found out that she was the daughter of God, you think, even though I, I, I well, you think that she'd be dancing on the pole? Nah. You know? And, and, the, and the thing that we do is that we actually, some of us actually know our true potential, but we continue to talk about those things because we can control people better when they don't think when they think that they're slaves. When they think that they don't have any work. So you can control the most beautiful women, women or woman or man, if they don't think they're nothing. So that's what walking with God is, is about a man trying to find out who he really is. And then once he finds out, damn, what do I do now? It manifested to them, because I think God manifests in different ways. In my yeah. Opinion. My right, personal right, and to right, and, and to right. the indigenous people of America, God was in the land, in the trees, in the water, and they were thrown out into a, a, a land of, of desert, basically for for the most part. And right. their sure. land was taken sure. from them. So we have to find a way to reconnect. And what they do is they give us money, money, uh -huh. money, money. Never. That's what my friends couldn't understand. They was like, "Dude, you're a millionaire." With Bentley's, it like, dude, why can't you sleep at night? Money don't have nothing to do with it. It's nothing. That's the problem. And that's important. And, and I think we have to find a way to reconnect with our ancestors. We mm -hmm. have to find a way to reconnect with Africa. They have to find a way to reconnect with the spirit of their land. This is their land. And we just mm -hmm. have to find a way to get back to that. I think when you know that, that old saying when they say, your arms are not long enough to box with God? Yeah, right. like, like we're fighting the God inside of us. Mm -hmm. you, you feel me? And and, mm -hmm. and we can't win that battle. We're gonna have to give in and go back to the old ways, with the modern twist. Mm -hmm. And that's what's up. Yes, sir. Oh. That's dope. Oh, that's what's oh, up. That's like what's and you know, have you thought like how do we we repair? How I, we begin that process? I, I first of all think. The first step is we got to find out our, our, our God. I honestly believe that. I honestly believe that. Like, the most important thing to most black people is God. Mm -hmm. And if God doesn't look like you, if that's just like a child who doesn't look like his dad, but his brother looks like his dad. Mm -hmm. He's always looking to his brother like, damn, I don't look like the person that I came from. I think it first starts with knowledge of self and us finding our own God. That's mm -hmm. what I personally believe. Okay. And and I honestly believe it's very hard for Jesus to hide in Egypt where our black people where people were dark skinned if he wasn't dark skinned too. I'm we'll leave we we'll leave that <laughs> okay. we'll leave that for later. Uh -huh. But uh <laughs> and the skin is copper and hair and wool. You know, that sounds more like uh uh that sounds more like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That's DB. DB is Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 I, 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 Jesus. but I also I... you talk about finding our God. And that's one of the most important things that we need right now. That it's a problem that our God doesn't look like us, right? Noble Drew Ali, also known as Sharif Abdul Ali, and if you insist on calling him by his enslavement name or, or government name, if you will, Timothy Drew, born in North Carolina, just about as dark as you, brother. And he's a prophet on the same level as, as Muhammad, like our Muslim brothers in the East, how, how they respect and honor him, Buddha, 
Confucius. He has that same importance, that same level of importance. And it's right there. We don't have to find it. In fact, in the book that he brought for us, it says that Allah and man are one. Confirming what you're talking about. And, you know, funny thing about you saying Jesus is, or not even you saying, in the Bible, how it talks about Jesus' skin being like copper. In 1828, um, Webster's Dictionary, if you look up the definition of American, it says the copper complexion Aboriginal or Native people found here by the Europeans. Now look at our skin. Yes, we are the Americans. And we are the descendants of the one that they call Jesus, also known as Joshua or Isa. But you see, we can't be a descendant of him as black. Because blacks are the descendants of Negroes, slaves. And that's not who we are. We are truly the descendants of prophets, of messengers, of God, Allah, Jah, Jehovah, whatever name you want to give the creator, the all. And if you're wondering about that, about how we are descendants of Jesus, how we are actually a nation of prophets and messengers, just looking in the Bible. Jesus is a descendant of Ruth, a Moabitess. A Moabite is the ancient term for more. Don't believe me. Verify for yourself. And once you do, realize who we truly are. And we have to be who we are. Because as long as we be black or African American or people of color or Negroes, slaves, then we will be controlled and we will be treated and addressed as such. The time is now, brother, sister, really the women, especially the women, if you are watching this, we need desperately for you to wake up. See, in the Quran was was little talked about of the Quran of the Moorish Holy Temple of Science. The second chapter in the book, after the creation and the fall of man, the second chapter is speaking directly on uh, Mary and Elizabeth the mother of John and Jesus. And it explains on how before John and Jesus could get the information and the knowledge to become the messengers and prophets that they were, the mothers had to learn it first and teach it to their sons. So it's imperative that the women know who they are because the nation can rise no higher than this woman. And since we got a name from a woman and our game from a woman, Right? Who did who did Tupac get his game from? Think about it. Come on now. In closing, let me say this. Initially, I started to make this video uh, out of frustration because I went to your Twitter feed and saw that you blocked me on Twitter. Cliff Solo is the name, if you wonder. And ordinarily, that wouldn't bother me at all, whatever. But it was because I sent you personally uh, through a more sister, no, no, no less. I sent you personally a Quran and several other books and, and information, a few newspapers, newsletters about our, our nationality, our history as Moors, etc. And, you know, I truly felt in my heart that you are one of the ones that is truly righteous and truly for our people. You're not just on the conscious tip, to, you know, for a hustle, you know, to, 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 to get money from our people, to scheme on our people. Um, you know, but as I sat with this, I said, well, you know what? Let me take this moment to truly address you from the heart, because maybe you don't quite understand how important it is that we know who we are as Moors, 
specifically as Moorish American. So I don't want you to see this video or I don't want anybody watching this video to think that it's just another case of um, someone attacking David Banner or whoever. This is not about dividing um, and tearing each other down. This is about truth. It's about truth. And the truth is, we are not black people. We are not African Americans. We are not people of color. We are Moors, specifically Moorish American, descendants of Moroccans and born in America. You can verify that in looking through history, looking up the facts for yourself. Don't believe me. And don't believe other people that you may see on YouTube. Look it up for yourself. Listen to the words that I'm saying and look them up. Treaty of Peace and Friendship. Look up Blackamore. Look up St. Maurice. If you need, if you want the information uh, for the 77 amazing facts about the Moors, I'll just give you the facts myself. Hit me up. I-A-M-H-H Temple at gmail.com. Go to iamhhtemple.org. It's plenty of information on there. RV Bay Publications. R-V-B-E-Y Publications.com. Plenty of information for free. Canaan Land Moors. C-A-N-A-A-N-L-A-N-D Moors. On YouTube. Over 500 videos of information for free. MoorishDirectory.com. Look these things up. Stop believing. Man knows not by being told. Meaning, if I'm telling you this, you won't know it until you look it up and know for yourself. Know thyself. Got to do the work. Study. Research. Study some more. Research some more. But the truth is right there. That being said, I'm going to close out. Once again, much love to you, brother. But please be correct. And all the other brothers and sisters out there, please be correct and teach the people the truth. That we're not black people. We know who we are and we're Moors. I just ran into, matter of fact, let me tell you this story. I just ran into, uh, I went to Tech Nine show. And MERS, uh, yesterday, SAC, 420, 2015, Ace of Space. Look it up. This is all facts. It was building with this European brother named Nathan. We get to building about religion, history, um, and the Moors. And once we started, I started breaking down, me and my brother, we started breaking down to him about who the Moors are and, and that it's our true name and that the implications of black, you know, is a legal status and it in turn makes us slave, you know, uh, it makes us being treated as slaves. Immediately, this European brother, he changed up his talk. I mean, he was so he was so caught off by, by this truth that he didn't even really know how to complete a sentence. He, he didn't know how to address us. Well, I, I, black uh, or he was stuck. He didn't even he, he but he was. The amazing thing is that he was he was respecting us enough to try to rework and rewire his brain to address us respectfully and honorably. So why is it that difficult for you, Brother David, Brother Talib, Sister Erica, Sister Nikki, J. Cole, Kendrick? Absol, everybody, you just the YouTube watching right now, YouTube world, yes, you, I'm talking to you too, stop being afraid to be who we are, and my European brothers and sisters that may be watching this, don't be afraid to address us properly, correct us, say, you know what, you guys are actually not black, you're Moors, my Mexican brothers and sisters, let us know. The Indians, 
not the ones you know being called Indians here in America, but I'm talking about the ones from India. Russians, everybody, let us know. But see, really, it's not on them. We got to know for ourselves. So I'm asking you humbly, please address us properly. We are Moors. We are Moors. Much love to you. never the moment you expect it to be when your world is thrown into chaos when you come to the profound realization that the past present and future are all connected in some completely miraculous terrifying mystifying beautiful turn of events and yet here it is standing right here before me cold steel pressed against my temple attached to a man's hand that i never met ready to deliver my judgment And the one thing you think about at a moment like this isn't what you think it might be. Because at this moment, all I can think about is how much I'm going to miss ice cream. It started long ago, before the concept of time, before the light was extracted from the dark, when all was at peace, when all was one. It is here where all life began, and it is here where my story begins as well. I am Aket Heru. Bestowed upon us amongst a myriad of gifts was enlightenment, something unlike anything in the universe, the understanding that we are divine because we knew the God that dwelt in and outside each of us. This enlightenment gave us access to unimaginable physical power, But ultimate power often attracts destruction. For the evil that lurked behind the white mask would soon extinguish my enlightenment, my kingdom, and the life of my parents. He decided to keep me for his entertainment, a simple pawn moving through history with no sense of purpose. But in his fervor to rule while his eyes were set on the universe, I was able to retain some of my power, the right hand of God. Once I and the people among me were blessed with great potential, and every time I came close to gaining knowledge or empowering others with it, he would appear and take my life. Taught not to believe in myself anymore, and only believe in what I was told. And while a millennium unfolded, so did my repression. Until I ended up here. Alex Alex. Light. Detective, you might want to speak to him. He's the neighbor. Detective Marcus. John Marcus. So, uh, you the one who made the call? Yes, I did. Was at home, I heard loud scream, explosions. I ran over and discovered this. I'm going to need some time alone with this. Clear out. Yeah. Oh, she. I see you. <laughs> okay. Go. <laughs> this is all for you. What do you think? This is amazing. You can do this. Don't worry about that. It's for your family, my family. Why? Wow. 
Take it all away. The dancing, the money, the clothes. None of that matters. It's just you. You got a good heart. You're a good man. You come with no bravado, no agenda. You're just being you. That's what impresses me. I'll catch up. Really? Uh. Hey! Apologies. Back the hell up, man. me a cat, hey Ru. Listen, what the hell are you talking about? Let me remind you.
just something I didn't freestyle on the time. Of the human family, 
and therefore they looked upon all other segments of the human family as part of that same family. Now, uh, they had a different look or a different air or a different attitude than that which is uh, reflected in the uh, attitude of the man in America who calls himself white. So I said that if uh, Islam had done, this, done that for them, perhaps if the white man in America would study Islam, perhaps it could do the same thing for him. I think what a lot of people are interested in, Malcolm, is whether this experience has made you feel that that your feelings have changed, that uh, that the animosity you have expressed in the past toward all whites. There's one the thing that I want to make clear. No matter how much respect, no matter how much uh, uh, recognition whites show toward me, as far as I'm concerned, as long as that same respect and recognition is not shown toward every one of our people in this country, it doesn't exist for me.